This is Young Bold and Regal here at the MLK Sharing the Dream Luncheon, and we're here with Power uh, creator, producer, writer, extraordinaire, uh, Courtney Kemp. So we wanted to ask you, what do you feel like the shift or the difference was in terms of the anticipation from season to season, from season one to season two to season three for um, the one coming up? I feel as though the show has become more popular, absolutely, uh, and the level of anticipation has grown. The key is always to ignore them and never let what people want or what people are desiring to shift uh, what we're doing in the writers' room. We never want it to change, so we're so grateful for that anticipation, but we're also uh, a little, you know, always try to kind of make sure that we are staying on point in terms of the vision of the show. So when you casted um, all the main characters, what did you have in mind, and what did what, what was something that exceeded your expectations? When we first started writing Tasha, for example, we knew we were looking for a very strong woman, but Tasha was supposed to be 35 years old. When Naturi came in, she blew us all away, so we actually rewrote the part to make the part much younger. We had to make kids younger. We had to do everything in order to adjust to what Naturi was bringing to the table to a certain level of fierceness and power and strength. Um, when we set out to cast Tommy, I had a completely different idea of what that character was supposed to look like. Like, he was supposed to be Italian, he was supposed to have a specific kind of New York vibe. Instead, we ended up casting a Polish actor out of Chicago, but Joe Shakur was the right person. I mean, casting always changes characters and, and, and back and forth. The key is always to be flexible.